I'm always very excited to go back to Italy, my country. First of all, I miss a lot my family and my friends. So uh, when I'm there, I try to enjoy each single day spent with them. I also love to be able to communicate in my own language, Italian. I spent there two full months and I really wanted to spend most of the time out outdoor. So I went to the mountains and the sea with my daughter. So uh, we tried to hike, to swim, to move as much as possible after those long months of lockdown. And so despite uh, those difficult times, uh, we enjoyed a lot our uh, time in Italy. We also ate a, a lot of good Italian food. I did not perform at all over the summer, I just had holidays and time to practice, to be prepared for this busy uh, fall uh, with our new season, reimagined season. Uh, but except of that, uh, of course, Italian orchestra started a bit earlier compared to other countries. I'd say in the middle of June, they, I think they played the first concert and with distancing and uh, with probably fewer people in the audience. Uh, but uh, I think the most they spent the summer recording. So I saw and heard many friends who were recording or just uh, playing concert but online. We have not been playing together for six long months and I wanted to go back to work smoothly, as smooth as possible. So I put together this program where we play uh, in the different chamber ensembles, combination. So we start from two and we end with eight people on the stage. Uh, this is also a good opportunity for all of us musicians to be able to work in a different way. Uh, we are less, so we can concentrate on details, uh, which when we are a lot of people is difficult <laughs> to manage. But of course, I'm really looking forward to be all together, but I really trust that this program will give you the feeling of this intimate experience with fewer people on the stage, like in the salon in the 18th century when the chamber music were played for very small audiences. I've always mixed feelings when I go back to work after uh, a break. And uh, this, of course, it was the longest break ever uh, since I started playing violin. Um, so I've, it felt a little bit like the first day of school when you don't know what you have to expect. And uh, I'm responsible for many aspects, so I felt a little bit anxious, but also I was really looking forward to play the first notes together to be able to make music again. This is a bit tricky question because I love all the pieces I put together for this program. But of course, I'm really looking forward for you to hear um, those works by Mozart and Beethoven, uh, which are not so well known. For example, the duo for bassoon and the cello by Mozart or the trio for winds instruments by Beethoven. And then there is another piece which is not very well known, a uh, quintet for oboe and strings uh, by Druceschi. This composer uh, wrote great music, but he isn't famous or popular as Mozart and Beethoven. But I particularly love this quintet because I recorded it many years ago with some of the best of music friends, like Alfredo Bernardini and Stefano Montanari. I was very young, uh, but I still listen to that recording and I enjoy the music and, of course, those musicians. I want you to enjoy, first of all, the beauty of the music and then the different kind of colors because we will change musicians on the stage uh, from duo, for example, bassoon and cello, where the color is warm and dark and then we have a winds trio and we have quartets, we have octets, so many different kind of uh, colors and nuances and I think this fits very well with the theme of our season which is 
passions of the soul. Um, I'd like you to feel all these uh, different kind of feelings while we'll be playing and I hope that you can enjoy the details and the intimacy of this experience through those chamber music pieces. <laughs> 